Hey guys, Sahar, welcome back to my channel. If you've been subscribed to me for a while and you're wondering why the hell am I finally posting a video and where the hell I've been, I'm not really sure, but I am here now and I'm here with a new tutorial for you. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this kind of like sultry brown eye look. It's cute, it's glam, and yeah, it's super easy to do. So here's how we go. First, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I, I, I'm not great at these, they're kind of a mess. You can always clean them up with concealer later on, which I did here, but I didn't really show you because I'm terrible at being an influencer. So let's backtrack a little bit. First, I use the P. Louise Eye Base to just prep my eyelids, and then I use a dry beauty blender to just blend that in. And then I went in with the Be Perfect Carnival palette, I used the shade Liquor, and I popped that right into my crease, you know, just kind of mapping out the shape that I want the eye look to have. Then I picked the color Rowdy, also from the Carnival palette, and I put that right on top of Liquor. No need to blend, just packing on at this point. Then I took the color Basic, also from the Carnival palette, and spent like 10 years and four brushes blending and finally got something that sort of worked. I used a little bit of black eyeshadow just to deepen the crease area. And then I went in with the Glamour Glitter Liquid Eyeshadows, also by Be Perfect. The shade I'm using is Buzz. It's really cute and really easy to make a cut crease. Started using some more black eyeshadow just to give me like this smoky wing thing. Went in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner and Blacker and blended it out with Rowdy from the Carnival Palette. Using the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced on my lower and upper lashes just so it kind of blends nicer. Then I'm using the Shimura Unlimited Foundation. It's actually my first time using this foundation on camera. And I really like it. I feel like it matches my neck quite well. And the coverage is also quite good. And it feels really lightweight. So here I have a little breakout region. Well, my whole face is a breakout region. But you can see how the foundation works over it. It gives nice coverage in an even layer. Wish I could remember what shade I'm using, but I absolutely for the life of me cannot. Now I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer just to clean up under the wing, just to make it kind of sharp so it looks like it was eyeliner, but it's not. I'm using a flat brush to do this, and then I use a concealer brush to buff it out. I repeat the same thing on the other eye. Yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. I go in with a little bit of the same concealer under my eye and use a fluffy brush to blend. Um, Either this concealer doesn't really like to blend or a little goes a really really long way. I don't know which it is, so I'm gonna keep using the concealer, but right now it just I feel like it's it's really reluctant to move. So I'm gonna try to make it work. Using the same brush I used to apply the foundation, I'm blending that concealer into my foundation. Now I'm using this hourglass foundation stick in golden almond to contour. I know it's very very excessive but I like it it's a good contour color and it gives me coverage around the corners of my face next I'm using the no sebum powder by Innisfree this is so good you can see how it instantly mattifies my face and I kind of look like poreless I love it now I'm going in with the Chloe and Malika palette this is the lighter one I know there's two palettes I'm using the bronzer in it and then I also use the blush then I'm going in with the Sub-Zero palette by Mitchell and Be Perfect. I mix the shades Babely and Lifestyle. They're also what I used on my eye and in my brow bone. Next I use Sunkiss by Nude Sticks on my lips, followed by Hollow Gloss by P. Louise for a nude that I don't usually do. Normally I like to use like a brown lip liner, so. Yeah, here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video and follow me on Instagram if you actually want to see me post more often than once every six months. Bye!